Good day, collectors. Sci-fi back again with another action figure review. Actually, a bit of a video haul on some figures I got from Canberra Vintage Collection Centre. Yep, back again for a second view. Now I'm going to be very quick about all this. Uh, yeah, Jamie, I've just had a chat with. Yep, we are trying to get in contact with each other. We don't know how to link. We're very bad at the internet. Anyway, so here we go. The first one I got. Speaking of, I've only got seven and a bit minutes to go. For some reason my camera will not film more than seven minutes and 50 seconds. Here we go, Yoda from The Phantom Menace. It's been 25 years, hasn't it? Yep, there we go with the Comtech chip. And there's the other figures. I got most of those back in the day. I don't think I got R2-D2, boring, this is another R2. And finally got this one, but anyway, so I'm going to ramble on through it. This Yoda, very interesting looking Yoda. Yep, because it does not look like the other Yodas. He's meant to be a lot younger, only about 20 odd years or so, but yeah, they did not, you know, if you look back in now, the new Blu-ray series and whatnot, Yoda does not look like that. I reckon he looks older like this. I've got to admit, he does look cool like this um it's a it's a puppet done by frank oz looks cool but it was never released again and it comes with the chair and you sat on the jedi high council not much articulation he'll just sit there and you can see his peg holes i don't mind i don't care i've got part of the jedi council chair with all the real cool ones like the real poof and yeah all the non-human Jedi's. That'll go with that. Did come with the with that. Well yeah, see? Isn't it weird? Yeah. Nice thing. I did not I did not I passed on this many, many years ago, of course, to get some, you know, of course your Darth Maul Watto. But I don't mind this now, you know, it cost me twenty five bucks at the at the vintage collection centre in Canberra got to go there man if you're anywhere near camera in the act australia go for it i'm glad i got it anyways because i'm running out of time supposedly something to do with this stupid camera i like it though 25 bucks old figure 25 bucks for a 25 year old figure let's move on all right so here we go i've got the actual believe it or not how's cool is it another one i passed on back in 95 96 was the Shadows of the Empire. If you guys don't know this. Yep, great video game, N64. Shadows of the Empire. And here's the damn Swoot Rider, 45 bucks. Not bad. These days I looked it up, it probably costs around 30 odd dollars. Loose plus probably a billion dollars in postage. And how cool is this? Yeah. Let's look at that Swoot Rider helmet. I like it. I passed on it many times, just because, yeah, just going for, you know, but it looks good. If you haven't played the game, if you can find it, any of the mods out there, yeah. Cool, how cool is that? And the box itself is in great condition. Let's put that down, I had to yeah, put it all together. I did a longer video of it. going to 96 sort of there you go there's your shadows of the empire yep i've got all them except for probably the dash render one no i don't think i have him yeah there's a couple of two packs i don't have the outrider dash ride dash render is the outrider this came with decals i'm going to enjoy putting these on or not enjoy one or the other depends how frustrated i get it's a great looking bike. Yeah, man, I like the swoops. They're cool. And this has lots of movement. And yeah, I don't really want to move it too much, but it's minty fresh, you yeah, know, that bit comes out. Duh, duh, duh. So on, so on. Yeah, how cool is this? And some instructions. Yeah, as I said, this thing was popped out of the box today on an older video that I made, or a video that I just made, and of course, 
I've only got minutes left. I don't know why this is doing this with my camera. But yeah, bear with me. Anyways, there we go. The Swoop Rider. One more up. Yep, last figure I got. Planet of the Apes. Eat your friggin' heart out. Look at this sucker. This is from Spawn. Techno Spawn. This one is called Code Red. It's Techno Spawn and they do... Yep, a savage... What is it? A savage hybrid of animal flesh and machinery. Man, this is very... Sort of late 90s again. How tough is this? Look at the detail. I'm glad to go back down this rabbit hole again. Seriously. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Two different eyes. Mad detail on this solid looking figure. Yeah, it does have a projectile, which you could shoot if you really want to. All right. Absolutely amazing. Yep. Todd McFarlane did some great spawn figures. So this one is basically back in the 90s, I think it was. Da -da -da -da. There he is there. It's about 90 something. I don't want to waste my time. 99, this one. They've been around since the uh, mid 90s. Probably just before my son was born. Oh, that one popped off. Yeah, you can do all that. That's okay. Yep. Can't be screwing around. Yep. Just before my son was born, I saw a musician, went to, invited his place and he showed me his collection and just went, wow. So around about this time, and with the Power of the Force figures coming out, I started collecting again. So this is bringing back some little bit of memories. But wow, what a tough looking figure. Now the box itself, <coughs> you, can't probably, you probably can see, yellowed as hell. Been around 60 bucks. I don't know what this guy goes for online these days. I'm just glad I got him. Yeah. Okay, time is running out. So that's what my camera is doing. It's saying shut up sci-fi after a couple of minutes. You can't make long meandering videos. So I won't. I'll see what I can do about this. Does anyone know about why cameras do this? I don't know. Anyway guys, sci-fi out for now. Back again very shortly in a couple of weeks. All right. I'll see you all then. And the force is with you. And this is the way.